Hello everyone, my name is Shai. Today, I will be reacting to Nui's W's Return, Deja Vu. I'm really excited for this. Um, it said that this track is a Latin pop track, which is their first, and it um, has lyrics written by uh, JR and Becco. And Becco also did some of the composition as well. So I'm really excited for this. Plus, the teasers seem like it connected back to um, the Overcome era. So a lot of people, a lot of us are wondering if it does connect to it or if it's just a coincidence, which I highly doubt that um, it has similar themes to the Overcome era. So without further ado, this is Nui's W with Deja Vu. Here we go. Compass again. This genre is actually very popular in Korea right now. Also, I almost swerved into JR's lane. Like those teaser images, y'all. Ooh. Ooh. That was a smooth transition. We're saying this scene right here here was the Tabata was like hello. Oh! 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 <laughs> Y'all, I might actually swerve into JR's lane. that split second of silence and then into his rap, yo. Oh! Jesus! <laughs> oh. Dude, their servant looks this comeback. What does the goat have to do with anything? was really good honestly like I said like the genre that this song has taken a uh, stab at is um, it seems very like popular currently in Korea so I've heard a lot of songs that have like this style uh, but dude 
it fits Nui so well. Um, also, as I was saying in the middle, like, dude, I almost swerved so hard into JR's lane. Like, I think I mentioned this in my first reaction to Nui's W, um, but Beko has been my bias since I have gotten into Nui's. So, I've been holding steadfast for three years to Beko as my bias, so for me to almost swerve into JR's lane, my resolve is weak. Anyway, um, but yeah, dude, the, the, the visuals just come back around. It's like super, they, they upgraded. Um, I didn't even know how much more handsome they could get, but hey, it happens. But, um, a lot of people, um, said that this might, like, connect with the Overcome era, and it kind of has, like, the similarities, you know, like the, um, the little girl who happens to, who might be the, the, like, the younger version of the queen, um, the snow like area like Becca has a sword like I don't know how it really it does have like similarities to it so I'm wondering if they're going to continue that storyline when Minhyun comes back because that's what a lot of people were saying so um but dude this is actually has to be one of my favorite June comebacks um so far um like out of all the songs that have been released this month so far this one has to be like one of the like top three um, it's such a different style than what I've heard from New East that it's like, because obviously, like I said, like, the, I was reading an article in the beginning, I forgot to mention that, but it's their first, like, Latin pop track, and, like, it's, you know, it's something we haven't heard from New East, and it's, like I said, fits them well. Like, um, obviously, I don't know how to explain that, actually. But it just it just fits. Um, it's although it's different, it's not too jarringly like not too jarringly different. It's just why I say that it fits so well. Um, but dude, I'm excited for these promotions. It's obviously been a while since New East has come back. Um, but I'm just really one of the one, number one thing I'm curious about this whole music video in itself is one if it connects to the Overcome era, and two if this will continue on. Um, for the rest of their time as New East W, or if it will continue when Minhyun comes back. Um, so I'm really curious how to see this storyline kind of play out, and if a lot of the loves theories are correct and whatnot. Anyway, simply put, uh, I really love it. Like I said, the Latin pop genre is like really popular in Korea right now, it seems, because I've he heard a lot of songs um, with that kind of style. And like even though this is New East uh first time, um, you know, doing this style, it's like they've done it before because it like fits them so well. I have zero idea how I wanna explain that, but it just fits. Um, it's like something that they can do so well despite it being their first time. I don't know how to explain it, sorry y'all. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this. This just has to be one of my top has to be my top three of my favorite um June comebacks, so I really cannot wait for these promotion eras. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun stuff, support New East W, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.